welcome Pisces. I'm back y'all with another video. Alright, so this is going to be a general read. It may or may not resonate with you. So take what applies to the rest. For my newbies, welcome guys. I am the Empress. Alright, and I'm happy to have you here. If you enjoy this, be sure to leave a thumbs up, share with your family and friends, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, so there's a few more shuffles. We'll see what's going on with the Pisces. Oh, that jumped out. Okay. All right, so you could be like shaking my head. No words could do it any just justice. Disappointed or a stupid move. So you're upset, possibly disappointed. There may have been a text message that came through, and it was like, "What did you hear yourself? Like what? What? That's such disappointment. Such a disappointment." All right, what else? All right. So it looks like you're getting ready to come into something. You're feeling very blessed after a period of possibly going through some type of struggle or hitting a rough patch or having something that kind of may have sent you back. Um, It looks like you are something good is getting ready to happen for you. You're expressing gratitude for blessings. You're feeling lucky and luck is on your side. And it looks like you're going to be turning up. OK, so after some type of little disappointment, a little, you know, frustrated situation it looks like you have some type of strike of luck or abundance some of you may have been seeing 777 888 because it looks like yes luck is on your side okay so what else for pisces no chill yeah see like you ain't got no chill okay you ain't gonna have no chill baby <laughs> maybe you overreact a little bit. I'm getting a little dramatic, a little bit of dramatic energy. I'm getting a little wild energy here. If I see y'all coming off a little wild, okay? Because maybe you feel like you've been missing out, okay? Maybe there's something that you feel like you put on a back burner. So now it's like your time to shine, turn up, have a little bit of fun, okay? Because you you may be telling somebody to kiss your ass, okay? We got by Felicia. So, yeah, you may be coming off as younger, like maybe you're taking pictures, um, maybe, you know, you're putting little filters on one, and you're looking cute, doing a little cute thing or whatever, but I'm getting like, y'all turning up, y'all turning up, but it was after a period of like disappointment, being disappointed, but it looks like things turn around, you get some type of blessing or some type of abundance or Something that makes you feel good. And I'm getting like you, y'all, y'all lit. <laughs> y'all lit or whatever. All right. So after all of that, I feel like you wake up because we got woke here. You realize that, you know, there's something that you need to come out of. Something that's mundane and something that's basic that you have been doing. Like maybe you're stuck in a rut and you're trying to shake yourself out of a rut. That's what it looks like to me. Like you're trying to shake yourself out of a rut. So it looks like you focus back on your goals, okay? Maybe some of y'all realize that in a situation, you were getting breadcrumb. You were getting the lesser end of the stick. Um, and you decide, like, look, I'm going to swerve in another lane, okay? Like, I'm swerving in another lane. I'm going to focus on my goals. I'm going to focus on what I need to do. It's like you, have, you, you go through a period of fun where you're kind of like just saucing it up, beefing it up, wilding out a little bit because you had to shake this disappointment energy off. And now it looks like you're focused back on your goals. Okay, you're focused back on your goals. Some things, yep, you're putting, you, you're, you're sitting down. Okay, maybe you even bench someone. Yep, I feel like you bench someone because they were love bombing you. They were love bombing you. Showering you with attention and uh, manipulating you. They were manipulating you. And this person disappoints you. And you have to shake this energy off. Okay. So you decide to sit down for a while. 
okay? Maybe you decided to put this situation on hold, put a person on hold. Um, you see it as potential, but, you know, you're not really sure about how it's going to go. So, you know, you kind of just like going with, I don't even see you going with the flow. I see y'all completely shifting your energy elsewhere. And it looks like you're focusing on your goals. Because I feel like somebody love bombed you to manipulate you. All right. It looks like somebody could definitely be trolling you. Okay. Somebody could be trolling you. They're watching the things that you post. It could be on Instagram or Facebook, whatever social media site that you use. This person is trolling you or you got a, quite a few different trolls. Okay. Um, they're looking at how you view things. Like they're looking at your perspective. They're just like looking at how you, what means you're sharing what thoughts are on your mind by looking at your social media they feel like okay it looks like from your social media view it looks like you were gassed and ghosted okay and breadcrumb and somebody played somebody played because you may have been you know had high hopes for this situation but couldn't find out when you realize who this person really was and what this person's intentions was you started throwing shade okay so it looks like people are trying to piece this together it looks like it's people are trying to piece this together through your social media give me a second guys i'm waiting on a couple of packages to come okay All right, tell me more. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like uh, the dating scene may be closed for you. You could be saying that you're single because it looks like tender and tender is when you're looking for a match. You're meeting somebody, you're ready to mingle. But then flatlining, you could be it's like, you know, I'm not trying to date right now. I'm really focused on my goals. But some of you may be like, no, I want to date because this relationship and this situation has ended. Some of you are an influencer um online you have this reputation that you are upholding you have the power to influence people you're you're you have a power to persuade people as well but maybe people are starting to notice that maybe you've been a little moody okay you do definitely have a stalker this stock this person who's watching you is watching to see what's good happening for you and what's bad happening for you like they're watching you they, this person follows you. It could be somebody that's older. Their out, their opinions and things are very closed minded and outdated. They feel like you dra you you brag a lot about your relationships, um, and they they just you know they're just keeping an eye on it. Okay, we got F M F O M O. Fear of missing out, fear of missing the opportunity, feeling pressured, or choices. Okay, so you have to make a choice. Maybe you feel pressured. You know, you're looking at your finances, looking at your situation. Maybe you may be on a budget and you're trying to balance balance things out in your life. Um, so some of you are deciding to spend a lot more time at home, enjoying local things instead of going out of town, doing things on the town and spending a lot. Some of you may be deciding to take like a mini vacation instead of taking this big, huge vacation. Some of y'all are just trying to get back in touch with reality, okay? A lot of y'all are focusing on your goals because you had your moment and your time to play around, um, and it ended, just ended up being disappointing. So you may be deciding, look, either to bench someone or you're benching yourself, okay? And you definitely have trolls that are like watching you, watching things that you post, watch, looking at your memes, things that you're sharing. Um, but it looks like for some, you're dating. Some of you guys may be like, I'm single. Okay. And you may fear like, you know, maybe you're missing out on something. What is it missing about me? What's wrong with me? Why is my love life in this situation right now? Look, it's just a phase. Okay. It is definitely just a phase. So let's. Let's get into, um, let's jump into the tarot and see what's what.
All right, so, oh, okay, we got the lovers that jump right out immediately. Your intuition was telling you that this person would, could possibly leave you out in the cold. Had the high priestess and the five of pentacles. Maybe your intuition was telling you that this was, you know, like not what it was perked up to be. Like you were dealing with someone who was kind of like all over the place maybe in and out of your life wasn't very reliable i feel like you want something more solid you want something more valuable but you were dealing with somebody who's immature it definitely looks that way um tell me about this knight of wands the world yeah this person is all over the place all the time this person is toxic as hell. We got the devil here. Could be a Capricorn. But this person has their own struggles. Um, they struggle mentally. Okay. They may have um, like the way that they think, the way that they, their logic, okay, may need to, need some balance. And okay, this person is toxic. Okay. This person loves the sex with you. But they're bad at relationships, okay? This person wants you to change some things. Although they are having regrets, this person feels like they should, you know, apologize. But they're, they're walk, they'll walk away again. They'll leave out again. I feel like you have love for this person. Tell me why the love is here. But I'm feeling like you're starting to change your mind. I feel like you're starting to change your mind about this person. This person may have said something that made you put your guard up. Something that you've seen how this person thinks. You're kind of like, you know what? Mm, I don't know too much about that. So you're starting to change your mind about this situation. And like I said, this Ace of Pentacles here, you want something solid. And this also is a reflection of where you are headed towards your goals okay now we got the eight of pentacles here i feel like you put effort in that was the challenge the challenge could have been you not you know not really putting too much energy into this situation maybe you did yep you put some energy into it you tried to you know be on the same page with this person you were very patient with this person you was patient with them until this happened. But you seeing now that this person is not a team player. Okay, this person isn't a team player. This person is for self. Now, we got the four of wands here in the past. Someone could be, um, there could be a live-in arrangement. Maybe you and this person was living together. Maybe you and this person could have been married and there could have been a separation. Not the four of wands here. Not a person. I'm getting like maybe some of you were, you know, living, uh, could have possibly be living with this person. But some of you, this person wasn't living with you. You may have been living alone and you're doing very well for yourself. Okay. Things were very stable. Things were very balanced. You had a hold on things. It's like you wasn't lacking. You weren't lacking. Maybe you were improving your home as well, like bringing in new stuff, improving your home. But I see you still holding on to this situation in the near future. Now, the Four of Pentacles is here for future energy it looks like you're holding back or you're holding on to this this person or this situation why is the four of pentacles here 
Page of Cups. I feel like you want an apology or you're getting ready to get an apology. You, I feel like some of y'all feel like this person should apologize to you. Um, why is the Page of Cups here? Yep, the moon. You feel like this person should apologize to you first. Um, I feel like you, you, a lot of y'all are going to be like holding on to this situation instead of just letting it go because you feel like you're owed an apology. This person over here, energy is six of swords. This person is moving on. Like they're moving on, doing other things. What's the six of swords here? Yeah, this person is, like, slowly moving on. They aren't, like, you know, just run off and that's that. This person is slowly uh, moving on. They got other plans. They plan on moving forward. Um, they they are in a nine of swords energy, which kind of gives me, like, a guilt energy. Yeah, they, they feel guilty with the nine of swords and the five of cups. They feel guilty about something that they did or said. Tell me more about this. Okay, there could have been some lies going on here. Somebody could have got caught in a lie. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Ten of Cups, okay. Maybe they feel like as well too that they took this a little too far. Okay, maybe they feel like their relationship was being taken too far. Like things were just going too far. So this person walked away. I definitely see this person making up making um some type of statement. Um they don't feel like they have to explain. They just feel like they could just walk out. Um they want to be the first person to do this to you. They want to be the first to make you feel some type of way. Um, but this person really feels like, A, they're moving on. They're trying to find something different, okay? Maybe there could have possibly been with the Seven of Swords and Ten of Cups. There could have been some, some trickery going on, some lies, some manipulation, possibly even a third party. I'm not seeing a third party energy here, but I do see, like, somebody being um, taking something too far, Somebody wants, this person also wants you to, yes, this person wants you to lower your standards. And I'm just being real. They want you to lower your standards. So they feel like your standards are too high. I'm going to just put that out there as well, too. They feel like your standards are too high. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, you want something solid, grounded, okay? And now a lot of you are thinking about your goals. You're thinking about your future. But you also, what's also on your mind is that this situation just fell apart the way it did with the tower. I feel like you didn't see it coming. You thought that things were solid and you didn't see this, this headed towards you, this type of behavior coming towards you. You really didn't know what to say. I feel like you're hoping that this person contacts you in the future offers you some type of apology or gift um, in the future. And I feel like you are waiting on that. You're waiting to hear from this person. You're waiting for this person to contact you, possibly for sex or the the top the for the toxic energy to continue with the devil and the five of wands. Like you're waiting for this person to reach out to you. You're waiting to hear from you you want to talk to this person. You want this person to make up their mind on what they want to do. Yep, and it looks like you want to talk to them, and it looks like drama continues. Like, the toxic cycle just continues. Somebody keeps, this person keeps you in confusion, keeps you in an illusion um, by the things that they tell you. I feel like you may be feeling like this because you're not completely understanding why this person decided to walk away. 
But the thing about it is, is this could have been the best thing. This could have been the best thing. Somebody here also here possibly needs to get a divorce. Or this person walked away and said that they wanted to get a divorce. I feel like you wanted this situation to work. But it's stressful. It's stressful. There's competition with other women or other men. There's insecurities. There's jealousy here. And for some, it's just like you want peace of mind. Okay. King of Swords and the Temperance and the Hermit. This is what you're looking for. This is what you need in your life. Okay. You need some time alone to get a peace of mind. I feel like this situation was just too childish like the knight of swords and the two of cups this situation this situationship relationship whatever this is marriage whatever this is that it looks like is you know on a shaky foundation is childish okay there's a lot of spying going on you could be watching this person this person could be watching you this person could be a um king of cups pisces cancer scorpio or a fire sign leo sagittarius Aries or a Taurus or a Leo but I'm getting like somebody's starting to feel like you know feel feel themselves somebody this person is starting to feel themselves the more and more you try to go towards them chase them make them feel valuable make them validate them they're starting to feel more powerful so you're giving your power away by um wanting this and chasing this and, and see, like I said, this is making this person more confident, okay? This is making this person more confident. Maybe this person has low self-esteem. This is possibly why they do this, because they're trying to steal your energy, take your power, take your confidence, okay? And leave you with their insecurities and their problems. Like, you got to be careful. People, people really do, do do things like this. Let's see what this person's intention is towards you. You're dealing with the asshole. Okay, let's see. Show me this person's intentions towards my Pisces. Show me this person's intentions towards Pisces. Yeah, separation. This person's intentions is to separate. Okay? They want you to chase. We got the chaser, Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming. They may be manipulating you and telling you these things that's, you know, I'm I love you, I care about you, but they're doing this. They want you to chase them. This person wants you to chase them. They leave so you can chase. Like what the hell type of shit is that? Okay, so This person's wearing a mask. Been wearing a mask, okay? Now, be careful because there could be somebody that you talk to that could possibly stab you in the back. Some A friend could be wearing a mask. Tell me more about this. Hammer, sabotage. Somebody could be trying to sabotage you, okay? Somebody's been spying on you. This just came out. Somebody's trying to end your abundance. Somebody's trying to end your abundance. Looks like you've been taking pictures. Um, and somebody's trying to... Girl with a snake. Yeah, somebody's trying to marry you or be like you. Want to be just like you. But this person's wearing a mask. This person sees that you are being lighthearted, having fun, adapting and healing. And your relationship could have been evolving to the next level. Somebody's trying to sabotage that. Be careful because somebody is watching you. Um, I feel like that's a different energy. That just came out. That just came out. All right. So let's continue talking about this energy. I like you. The runner. Didn't I tell you? So y'all are going through like a twin flame energy. This person could be like your twin flame. This person wants you to chase. Okay. This person wants you to run after them. This person wants you to chase them like this person is the runner they're running away um and they are waiting for you to confess your love to them 
Like, they want, this person is super duper attention seeking. Like, what the hell? This person wants you to chase them. Girl with the snake. Okay. It looks like this person feels like you're gullible. Um, they feel like you are um, easy to use. Maybe you don't have, you haven't set up any boundaries. And this person feels like you're gullible. What the hell is this? Like, what? Tell me more. Engagement ring. This person could have been telling you that they want to get engaged. Um, but really, this person enjoys having a sex with you. Okay, we got passion. This person's definitely wearing a mask. Okay, you got somebody around you that's wearing a mask. They're not real. They're not who they say they is. Okay. Yeah, this person's seducing you. Yeah, like, what is this? This person is using all types of crap on you. And then they're seducing you, and then that's what they do. Break up with you. Give you the silent treatment. So this person reels you in and then breaks up with you. This person does this on purpose, okay? They do this on purpose because they want you to chase them, okay? They want you to chase them. But fuck, who is this? The Grim Reaper. It looks like this cycle ends now. It feels like you and this person are not communicating because we got the Grim Reaper and talking. This person wants you to chase them. I'm telling you, this person wants you to chase them. Like, who is this person and why do they feel like you going to chase them? All right. But it looks like, look, you're transforming. You're going into a new phase. This person may want to come around and rekindle things with you. But this cycle here needs to end, okay? This cycle here definitely needs to end. This cycle needs to end. This could be someone that you are married to or this person is telling you that they want to get married and that you're their soulmate. But for a lot of you, this is a karmic relationship. Okay? This is a karmic relationship. Some This this doesn't seem genuine to me. This seems like either a twin flame connection or a karmic energy. Okay? But on another note, guys, y'all got somebody that is pretending to be your friend. But it's trying to sabotage you. And they're spying on you. Tell me more about this energy here. Butterfly. Yeah, it's because your relationship has been evolving into the next phase. And they've been seeing some growth. They've been seeing some growth somewhere. Yeah, and you're stable. Your growth, your flexible, your security. They feel like you're with your soulmate. This person is jealous of you. This person is jealous of you. Girl with the snake engagement ring. They feel like you and this person that we were just talking about. Maybe this person is, is wants to take things to the next level with you, but they just can't seem to get it right. Um, this person could be feeling like you're in a karmic, you're in a karmic relationship. They are looking at your photographs. They're watching you. They're watching you. Yeah, somebody's trying to stab you in the back. Yeah, for sure. Whoever says they're wearing a mask too. Okay, and this person is very selfish, self-indulgent. They only think about themselves. So y'all got two people that y'all need to be looking out for. Y'all got a a, a so-called friend and also a so-called lover. All right, so y'all be careful. All right, it's time to cut out what needs to be cut out. Cut off who needs to get cut off. If you've been having a, a any type of your intuition is telling you, your gut is telling you that this person ain't for you, go ahead and get rid of them. All right. So if this message resonated with you guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well. Like, comment, share. If you're new, subscribe. All right. And I will chat with y'all on the next one. Ciao.